think once we get to third base, we'll start to see those explosive moves. In my opinion, it's kind of clear that this, this cycle is going to have sparks flying towards the end of it, right? And I want to talk about when I think that the true altcoin market will start. So if you like these videos, guys, make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and keep your favorite crypto and door-to-door -door entrepreneur, the algorithms. And let me know if you want me to do some more vlog videos. I have so much fun, you know, when I'm out traveling, doing vlog videos. I'm actually getting some more equipment so I can bring you guys some more vlogs. So again, let me know inside the comment. But the market, uh, uh, it, it's giving us hopium, but we know that this is a choppy uh, situation. And uh, I expect volatility. We do have the... Um, CPI coming out tomorrow, so 3% is expected. Um, anything below 3%, we should see the market start to uptick. I've been placing my bets on DCA um, as of late, seeing that we've been getting uh, the fair and great index in the fair. Always a great opportunity and a bullish trend to add to your bags when you know it's a little bit of fear inside the market. You can gradually DCA. I look for the triple play when um, the sentiment is bearish, meaning below this median line here. Um, the fear and greed index is in the fear and also Bitcoin season um, opposed to altcoin season because I want to buy my alts down here below the Bitcoin season line. So when you can get all three or just two out of three, it's just a beautiful time to to load up on your bags. If you don't think that this market is going to explode, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's an easy bet, in my opinion. It, it just is. You know, some of the things we're seeing uh, across from the adoption here, I'm taking a look at um, how Bitcoin has performed since the halving. Um, it started off as the best performing um, cycle, and now we're the worst performing cycle. So but look how much explosive growth that we have to go. We haven't even seen the explosive growth. And this is why, in my opinion, we are early, right? We are early, guys. Um, I think I had something pull up for you guys that I want to show you here. So um, Bitcoin is now the sixth top monetary asset in the world. We've seen countries um, stacking up. I mean, look at Bitcoin, right? It's past multiple countries. Um, um, uh, uh, I don't want to say dollar, but you can see uh, uh, currencies, right? The current the currency of each country. Um, you the dollar is right here, number two, of course. Then gold is number one. But Bitcoin is number six, and it's only rising from here. It's only rising from here, right? Our crypto space is growing, guys. It is growing. We're seeing um, meme coins, like, really, really take over this cycle and bring more retail. We're starting to see institutions line up as we're getting some of the most inflows that we've seen in a while, right? Um, here's Grayscale speaking on, you know, what they've... Uh, uh, seen so far since the etf launch right in fact um you know the, these big boys are waiting for um more regulatory approval on some of our favorite altcoins like solana right just imagine if we get a solana etf which is the major casino in the crypto space for meme coins right um since the launch crypto etfs has experienced substantial demand driven partly by the adoption for major financial institutions right um lavelle Grayscale emphasized the scale of this interest, citing over 15 billion in inflows, tripling the largest one year ETF inflow in history, guys. So, you know, people talk that smack about Bitcoin ETFs, all oh, Ethereum ETFs, but these ETFs have been the best performing ETFs of all time. Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. In the midst of, again, I'm going to show you one more time that. Look how early we are. We haven't even had the explosive move from Bitcoin or even altcoin season, and we're already uh, setting major records, right? Um, I've told you guys, if you go uh, across, you know, the cycle history, the history of the cycle, each time uh, we touch the bubble lower bands in each bull run, one, two, three, four, right? We haven't even got close. Each time we either touch it or broke it. We haven't even got close, right? Make sure you guys go follow me on Twitter for updates. Join the Discord, join the Patreon. We got a lot of private groups and things going on, but we haven't even touched it, guys. We haven't even came close to the bubble lower bands in this cycle. So don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Understand that it's always 6 to 12 months after the Alvin cycle before we see major moves from Bitcoin and altcoins, right? And then based off history, when I back test this test, that uh, back test this chart, that would put us... Um, around the end of October and the beginning of November when we still start we should start to see those movements pick up um, and when you add on the election you know everybody's the pro crypto 
or uh, non-pro-crypto and the fact that we could get Fed cuts, the uh, um, the uh, money printer already turned on with the Fed uh, federal buybacks, right, happening. Fed cuts on the way. In fact, uh, the market is working in the price in three going into January um, Q1 of 2025. So I'm looking for Q4 and Q1 to be explosive, right? Explosive, right? Explosive. And again, once we touch... Once we touch the bull market bands, right, I told you guys, once we touch the bull market bands, once we touch them, that's when I'll start to um, really, really consider my exit strategy, right? Um, last time, we didn't even break it, right? On um, previous times, uh, two bull runs, we broke it, and in the first one, we didn't break it, right? So uh, two out of four, it's like a 50-50 chance that we do break the lower band. So if we tap them, that's when I'll start considering um my uh exit strategy guys you can check out the logarithmic chart here on into the cryptoverse and you can kind of like check it out for yourself so i'm having fun man we got some meme coins that's going crazy uh we got some altcoins that's going crazy i haven't been really doing those specific videos for any token um but don't you know don't trip those are coming those are coming the ai videos the gaming videos they're coming guys but we want to see this market pick up a little bit more momentum um so we can uh kind of like steer steer you in the correct direction all right check out the vlogs let me know what you think about the current market guys keep your head up the crypto space is about to create a new wave of crypto millionaires and we are closer than all to altcoin season than many believe it's your boy crypto millie i'll see you in the next one